live from downtown Los Angeles, it's the 72nd Emmy Awards. Please welcome your host, Jimmy Kimmel. Well, hello and welcome to the Pandemies. Wow, it's great to finally see people again. Thank you for risking everything to be here. Thank me for risking everything to be here. You know what they say, you can't have a virus without a host. <laughs> the big question that I guess we should answer is, why would you have an award show in the middle of a pandemic? No, seriously, I'm asking, why are we having an award show in the middle of a pandemic? And what the hell am I doing here? This is the year they decide they have to have a host? <laughs> Why is a question I've been asked a lot this week. And I get it, yeah, it might seem frivolous and unnecessary to do this during a global pandemic. But you know what else seems frivolous and unnecessary? Doing it every other year. <laughs> What's happening tonight is not important. It's not gonna stop COVID, it's not gonna put out the fires, but it's fun. And right now, we need fun. My God, do we need fun. This has been a miserable year. This has been a year of uh, division, injustice, disease, Zoom school, <laughs> disaster, and death. We've been quarantined in lockdown, we've been confined to our homes like prisoners in a dark and lonely tunnel. And what did we find in that dark and lonely tunnel? I'll tell you what we found a friend who's there for us 24 hours a day, our old pal television. That's right, television is your friend, it's your friends, it's your big brother, your sister's sister, your mama's family, your two dads, your three sons, your crazy ex-girlfriend, it's even your dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> Through the good times and the breaking bads, for every day of your 600 pound life, television is there for you. The world may be terrible, but TV has never been better. And tonight, we are paying tribute to the great shows and the history-making nominees. Hats off to the television visionary, Norman Lear, who this week became the oldest Emmy winner ever at age 98. Norman didn't grow up dreaming of winning Emmys. In fact, television wasn't even something people had until he was a teenager. When Norman was a boy, his dream was to not get kicked to death by a horse. <laughs> Norman, you are a miracle. The only thing I'll be producing when I'm 98 is phlegm. Congratulations are also in order for a young Emmy upstart named Quibi, which has 10 Emmy nominations this year, including Outstanding Short Form Comedy or Drama Series and Dumbest Thing to Ever Cost a Billion Dollars. <laughs> there were so many great dramas this year and comedies too. A little show from our friendly neighbors up north is up for every Emmy, 15 nominations for Schitt's Creek. Oh, by the way, you're gonna be seeing that logo a lot because in order to meet broadcast standards, the network censors have decided that every time I say the words Schitt's Creek, we're required to put the words Schitt's Creek on the screen. Just in case you were wondering why network television is almost dead. <laughs> HBO can show us a big blue penis, no problem. I can't say the word Schitt's with a C. Speaking of blue penises, the most nominated series of the year is Watchmen, with 26 nominations. <laughs> Watchmen is a superhero show, but it also feels very real. It's a very realistic show, except for the part where anyone in Oklahoma is wearing a mask. <laughs> Isn't Watchmen also what Jerry Falwell Jr. was into? Hey, was that me? But wait, 
if I'm down there, how am I up here? That would mean that no one is in the audience. That would mean that I'm up here all alone. Just like prom night. Of course I'm here all alone. Of course we don't have an audience. This isn't a MAGA rally, it's the Emmys. Instead of a live audience, we took a page from baseball tonight and we filled the seats with cardboard cutouts of the nominees. You can see we have Regina King, Hugh Jackman, Jason Bateman, Meryl Str Wait a minute. Go, go back one. Jason? Jason. I know it's you. I saw your eyes moving. They didn't move. Yes, they did move. Mind your business, Camel. Big night for me. I know it's a big night, but you can't be in here. We have very strict safety protocols. I'm clean, guy. OK, I'm a big, big washer upper. Always have been. <gasps> Smell my hands. They're like a garden. No, thank you. I'm sure you're clean. That's not the point. We just have a limit on how many people we can have in the building. So you really need to go. No, I don't. I don't, OK? I haven't left the house for six months. Don't send me back there. I want to be here. This is, it's ritzy, you know? I mean, I want to I wanna eat shrimp with the cast of the crown, all right? I want, I want Mario Lopez to ask me about my pants. Let's go. We don't have any shrimp, but you can stay as long as you promise to laugh at my jokes. Huh. I'm out. I'm going to call the car. You're nominated, you know. I know I'm nominated. If I win, give it to Cheadle. OK. Bob? Jason, when was that photo taken? Uh, it's, it's tough to tell. I don't, I don't age. Yeah. yeah. Where are you parked? All right, uh, let's get this going. Uh, but first, you know what I'd really like? Let's have a standing ovation for me. Thank you, that's, it's too much, thank you. All right, well, here's how the show's gonna work, or not. We are attempting to do something that has never been attempted before, and for good reason. Instead of bringing the nominees to us, we went to them. We have live feeds to and from more than 100 locations around the world. You know how hard it is to try to get your parents to FaceTime? Multiply that by a lot. Okay. This is where the magic happens. This is the nerve center. Um, as you can see, we've taken every safety precaution. And these are tonight's nominees. Hello, everybody. Congratulations. They're all standing by. We've installed cameras and microphones in their homes. We've been watching you for weeks now. <laughs> well, again, congratulations. How many of you have already started drinking? Show of hands. <laughs> OK, very good. All right. I feel like I'm in a Best Buy. This is wonderful. So here's how this is going to happen. If you win, a guy will drive to your house and chuck the Emmy through your window. OK? No, we won't do that. But we will be connected to everyone throughout the show, hopefully. This is the show that will finally answer the question, does Alan Arkin know how to use a webcam? This is a major undertaking. We have 100 different feeds going all at once. What could possibly go right? <laughs>